Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Sunday, October 27th, 2019. So before we get into um, the chat of this video, which is obviously going to be about prepping, if you can't tell by what I have in front of me, um, we are going to be, I'm going to be live streaming tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And the topic for tonight is going to be, what is the government thinking? So please join me for that chat. I think it's going to be very, very interesting. I have a different spin on something, and I think that a lot of you will find it very, very interesting. And the whole premise of what we're going to be talking about tonight is to make you think. Okay? So we're going to do that tonight, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And so we're going to do that, and so... Please join me tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, um, and uh, it uh, should be a fun talk tonight, okay? All right, so let's get into the video. So uh, the other day, uh, Eddie and I went down to Walmart, and uh, I always, 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 always am in the prepping mindset, okay? I mean, it just never stops. Um, that's just the way my mind works. I'm thinking, what can I use, what can I have that's going to help me out long term, and all those type of things. So, uh, what, while we were there, I was obviously doing a little shopping, okay? So, we're going to start on the bottom here, and you can see the beef raviolis right there, okay? Um, they are normally, you know, and they're, you know, Chef Boyardee, which is a brand, na brand name, uh, very expensive, they had rollback prices on these, 88 cents a can, and I did. I got 12 of them. Um, I'm actually thinking about going and getting another 12 because that price on uh, beef raviolis is really, really a good price. Okay, um, literally, it's normally like a buck fifty a can. All right, so for whatever reason, they were doing rollback prices on that. Um, then what I did is I have some vegetables, um, but I don't have a tremendous amount of vegetables. So what I decided to do, because there's not a lot of calories, okay? So here we got uh, sweet peas, okay? So amount per serving is 60 calories. There's three and a half servings in a container. So you're not looking at getting, you're not going to get a ton of calories out of a can of peas, okay? But, you know, you have... You know, it, again, it's it's changing up the texture, changing changing up the taste. All right. So, and of course, now on the bottom here it says, "Best by date of December of 2022." So, guess what? That'll last a lot, lot longer than that. The only thing that happens after 2022, uh, December, is it starts to lose nutritional value. Uh, as long as the can is not swollen, um, when you open it up, you don't have a foul smell. Uh, that's going to be fine. I mean, I've eaten stuff years and years and years past it. So when people say, well, you better make sure you have that in your rotation and you use it. Now, I do use peas, corn, uh, green beans, okay? Uh, down below here, I have the, I'll pull one of these out, uh, the French-style green beans, okay? Uh, now, this one's even worse. Amount per serving, 15 calories. And there's three and a half servings in a can. So you're for the amount of space it's taking up, you're not getting a lot of bang for your buck. But again, I like green beans, and uh, so they, uh, you know, that can be just a different taste for your meal. All right. Then we got the corn. Let's pull out one of the corns. Let me pull this out of here a second, guys. Hold on. All right. Okay, so the corn, uh, 45 calories per serving. Again, three and a half servings in a can. Uh, corn is just good. I mean, you know, and it just changes the taste of everything like that. So, you know, you're getting you're getting some stuff in there, and uh, it's not a bad thing. You know, like I said, again, it just changes changes that texture of that meal. And so now, what we're gonna do? We're gonna kick over here and get one of these bad boys. Okay, so beef raviolis. All right, so what are what's the calorie count on them? Let's take a look. Uh, let's see. Okay, uh, serving size one cup. It's about two servings in this. Uh, two hundred and twenty calories. So it's a lot more calories. Uh, Sixty calories from fat. So you're getting your fat content that you need. But uh, so that's you know. So there you go. You got one can of there is you know four hundred and forty calories where it would take a whole bunch of the other ones to equal the same amount. But again, it's it's all about changing the taste, changing that texture, okay? So, 
Then down here, um, I, w I did go with the Campbell's split pea and uh, ham and bacon. You can't get that in the knockoff name. You just can't. So um, I picked up 12 of those, and I'm not even going to tell you what they cost. They were way too much, but that's okay. I like them. I eat them. I put them in my rotation. So um, that's why I had them. On the next level is bean and bacon. So let's take a look at that real quick. All right, 140 calories per serving. And there's two and a half servings in the can. All right. So again, um, you're getting a lot more bang for your buck. Same kind of can size, right? Well, even smaller. Look at the difference. It's smaller, but uh, you're getting more um, of your calories that you need in that than you do in the in the vegetables. So again, it's like you're looking for your fat content. Let's see what the fat content. 25 of the calories are from fat on that. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then up here we have uh, 70 calories per serving, two and a half servings per container. Uh, that's just chicken and rice. And again, that's the great value. Um, that, like the bean and bacon, 50 cents a can, this 50 cents a can. Cannot beat that for the price, guys. You just really can't. And I've tried the great value. I've, I make sure I try them all before I bought, you know, when I bought them. And they're really, really good. So, obviously, peanut butter is something, lots and lots of protein with peanut butter. You got, per serving, 210 calories, okay? Serving size, two tablespoons, all right? So, in this container, we have 33 servings per container. So, that is a lot of calories packed in to a small, small area, okay? Let's see what it says for fat. 21% um, of your daily fat is in uh, one serving so think about that you're you're getting a lot of fat um, with your peanut butter now obviously the peanut butter is in our rotation we use it all the time so I like to have um, we got one we're using right now and then I got these two is a backup so I like to have a few backup all right so mayonnaise only one kind of mayonnaise as far as I'm concerned and that's Hellman's I will not buy knockoff with that all right so it's 90 calories per serving and uh, in one serving is one tablespoon. So again, you're talking about, um, you know, it's high in sodium, which is, yes it is, but uh, you're getting your fats, and again, it's, it's just, if you're going to use mayonnaise, um, Hellman's is the only way to go as far as I'm concerned. I can't do Miracle Whip or any of the other knockoff stuff. It has to be Hellman's. Uh, I just, I like the taste, and so again, now this does not have a tremendously long shelf life, so this is something that we just keep in rotation. So right now I got one that I'm using, and I have uh, these two that I just bought plus one more. So that's all I keep with the mayonnaise. So then what we got over here, I picked up candles. All right, so you want to try to get a good bang for your buck on candles. How long are they going to last? The size of the candles, um, you know, and, and those type of things. So you can get, like, the thin candles for, like, 77 cents, but how long is that going to burn for? How long is it going to last? Uh, this here was three of these pillar candles. I think it was $7.50 for the three of those. But look how thick they are. Um, they're going to burn. I don't know exactly how long. We'll see if it says on here if it says how long they'll burn. Uh, let's see. Oh, it says extinguish every four hours and allow to cool. So you're, you're talking, I don't even know how long. So if you burn them for four hours, you're saying after four hours, let it cool down, harden back up, and then reuse it. But again, candles, guys, you can never, ever, ever have too many candles. And candles will last you forever. They'll be around a long, probably long after you are gone. So, um... That's why I picked up those kind. Those are awesome. I could put them on a plate, set them someplace, and they're going to be good to go. Uh, it's another light source, obviously, in those type of things. So I definitely, for me, it's a, it's a, that's a no-brainer, an absolute no-brainer. And again, for three of them, I think it was $7.50. So you're talking about a lot of light. Um, it can be used for heat as well if you do it that way. And uh, it's just it's just going to work out really, really well for you. But, uh, again, it's one of those things that you just, you know, a lot of people don't think about it. They're thinking about everything else, but they're not thinking about light, heat, and those type of things. And uh, you burn that candle in a room someplace and have that room contained, um, you're going to be able to get some heat off those candles. If you use a uh, clay pot, 
with it. And I'm, I'm going to do a demonstration with a clay pot at some point here. I'm going to I'm going to show you guys how you can heat a room uh, with a clay pot, tea light candles, and uh, like fire brick. Okay. Or just regular bricks. It doesn't even really matter what kind of bricks you use. You don't, you don't have to use fire bricks, but I will show you how we do that. And it's really, really simple, and it's a great way to heat up a room. It uh, doesn't exert a lot of energy, and, and the cost is not going to be overly expensive to you. But it could be the difference of you freezing to death or not freezing to death in the winter. Okay, so we're going to, we're going to, I definitely will try. I'm going to try to do that fairly soon just to show you guys, all right? So those were some of the preps that we added here. Um, just, you know, the other day, Eddie and I had gone. I haven't put them away yet. I got to actually put them in my inventory and then, uh, you know, have my everything categorized, <laughs> you know. But um, so, yeah, so we just picked those up and, uh, you know, more preps, adding on to more preps. And uh, that's what it's all about. And we'll continue to do that and we don't stop. You know, I tell you, I will never stop adding to my preps. So, um, and canned goods, guys, is a really good thing. Like I said, it's got a very, very long shelf life. As long as they don't freeze, um, you got to keep them where they're not going to freeze. So you don't want that huge temp temperature variation with those. You need to keep them in a stable, uh, I mean, if you can keep them in a cool, dry place, that's awesome. Um, if you can keep them in that kind of a controlled environment, that's going to be great. But uh, that's not always the case, okay? So anyway... Um, remember guys, we are all in this together. That is important to remember. Also remember, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important that you tell the people that you love every day how you feel. Uh, also remember guys, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from getting there is you, okay? That's it. Nobody else can stop you. Uh, we got a really wet, rainy day going on outside right now uh, here at the homestead, so the weather is not very pleasant. Uh, I may do another video before the live stream tonight. I'm not sure if I'm going to or not, but we'll see. But anyway, please join me tonight. Um, if you are not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Make sure you hit that bell icon so you can get all uh, uh, updates, and make sure you hit all on the bell icon. And, uh, you know, like, comment, and share. All right? Um, I don't always answer all the comments, guys, okay? I don't have time uh, to answer all the comments. It's not anything against anybody out there. I just want to make, be perfectly clear about that. If I spent all the time answering all the comments that I get on a daily basis, that's all I would be doing, would be making a quick video and making com or answering comments. It would take me hours, literally, to answer comments every day. So I just, to try to get anything done... And then, you know, answer all the comments. I can't do it. So I try to go in and I answer a couple off of each video. But I do read every comment, guys. I really, truly do. I read every comment, okay? So anyway, I will talk to you all later. I will see you in the live stream tonight. Have a great day. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.